Hi, this is Joanna from We Love Restore and in yesterday's video I showed you how to create resin molds with amazing casting resin and a silicon mold called Claire that you can purchase from Redesign with Prima and today I am going to show you how to add these molds to this piece and how to place them and adhere them so this piece it gets a little bit more detailed in this in these areas so I often look at the piece and see what it needs and wants so looking at this piece I can see a line of symmetry right here and right here and there's the certain center part for the knob or the pull to fit in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of frog tape, tear it, fold it, make it sticky on both sides, and place it behind the mold before I even glue it to show you how I envision this mold to be. So I'm gonna place right in the middle here of that line that I showed you earlier and then another mold right here a little higher there you go and then same with these I'm gonna make them go up like that these are the complementary molds that you saw me uh, making in the last video and this is how I'm gonna envision this design on both sides of the cabinet doors. As you can see, I put a tape over the mold after um, I adhered them with the Gorilla Glue onto the piece. So this way they stay put and uh, nothing shifts while it dries. So the molds are fully cured onto the piece and I'm ready to take the tape off and see how they turned out. As you can see, the molds are looking beautiful and our next step is choosing appropriate paints to this piece and creating texture. My go-to paints are mineral paints by Mint by Michelle. They're all in one paints. So there is a built-in primer and a sealer. The colors are beautifully curated by Michelle. So I chose this pretty color, stoneware clay, as my base color for this piece. And I'm going to be applying the paint with the sea sponge to create texture and three-dimensional look with the molds and the texture together. So here you go. I got the sponge. Put a little paint on top and just dab it just like that all over the piece creating texture everywhere but yeah all you need to do is just keep dabbing the paint that is on the sponge onto the piece for that desired texture.
So the base coat is applied to this piece and now we're ready for another color. And I thought this color by Mint by Michelle Ballet Flats would be a gorgeous color to explore on top of the base coat. So let's get to it. Again, I'm going to be using the same idea with a tea sponge on the other side. Taking a little paint and dubbing it onto the piece, just like with the base coat. It's already turning really pretty. It's always a good idea to have a darker base coat and lighter top coat on the base coat. It pops the detail more, gives more dimension. So what I'm doing now is adding more layers and creating more texture, more dimension for the piece to just come alive. In the end of this texture and layering process, I'm adding fresh sheets in the roller and making the mold completely pop. I'm going to use a trim tool a little bit, see how that looks. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll just paint it over. Last but not least, I'll be um, creating the complete three-dimensional look with two waxes. One is um, a brown wax, also called an aging wax dimensional wax that I'm going to be putting in crevices of the um, of the mold We're ready to wipe the excess. To finish off this three-dimensional look, I'll be using the core wax from Redesign with Prima in Galactic Halo. So I take a little bit on my finger and just go around the mold like this. The galactic halo is a very pretty color. It just makes the piece pop and gives it a finished feel to it. You can also apply the core wax with a brush with hard harder kind of bristles fine brush it works as well go ahead and go over the trim as well around the mold it's like a picture frame for the mold and i want to accentuate that And 
doing the same thing on the other side. Now that we are done with the three-dimensional part of the front of this piece, I'm going to decide what to do about the top. Since the top and the legs are in a pretty rough shape, I'm going to send them with my surf prep, starting with 80 grid, and just start anew with a fresh coat of stain. Look at that pretty wood grain that was hiding underneath the scratched up old finish. I like to use a sock to get into all the uh, crevices that I need on the surface. I chose Ranoki Wood Stain by Verithane for the top and legs. In the end, I decided to mix two stains together to complement uh, the painted part of the piece. Um, I used Ranoki and Antique White. It is now time for the original hardware to shine with the core wax also in Galactic Halo. In today's video, I demonstrated three-dimensional textured look using Redesign with Prima molds, resin molds, all-in-one paints from Mint by Michelle using a sea sponge for the application, and decorative dimensional aging waxes also from Redesign with Prima. If you like this video, like and subscribe my channel for more. Links for all the products used in today's video, you can find in my description. For more content, you can follow me on Facebook, Insta, and TikTok at Free Love Restore. We'll see you there.